This training video is on the Zoom functionality found in Song Surgeon version 4. That is this functionality right down here in the bottom sort of center left of your screen. Let's just talk about why we would use this before we get into the specifics of how to use it. And the why is that when you can zoom in, and when we zoom we're talking about zooming in on the data in this waveform file here, this plot of data, but when you can zoom in, you can more accurately set things. So if you want to set the play position, if you want to more accurately set a loop, if you want to more accurately set a marker, you can do that more easily by zooming in. You know, here we're at all, meaning that you can see the entire song on the screen or the entire audio file that's open. If we zoom into 50, we can obviously see in more detail where these loops are set, for example, and adjust them. We can zoom in even more, 10, 5. We can all go all the way down to 0.5 or a half a second. So that's the reason really for using the zoom is to allow you to more accurately set things, uh, whether it's the markers, whether it's the loop points, or whether it's a selection area, which is what you do when you're going to use the edit feature. But again, that's a different training video. We're not going to go into that. But that gives you the overview of why you would use the zooming feature. So let's get back to, at least briefly, how we use this. And it's really pretty intuitive. As I mentioned before, the All button means that whether you've got a song that's 10 seconds long or a song that's 10 minutes long, it will, when you click the All button, show you whatever magnification it needs to to allow you to see the entire song in one screen. So that's what all does. 50 refers to 50 seconds. So here it shows you 50 seconds worth of data on the screen. And 10, 5, 1.5, etc. Um, the other thing that you can obviously do here is you can grab this slider and you can you know, move the zoom position to any magnification you want. Um, and that's pretty simple to do as well. The last thing you can do is you can use this little uh, magnification button here that's got a negative sign on it because essentially all this does is zoom out. So let's zoom in as far as we can. We're at 0.5. Now if we click this, every time we click it, it zooms out by 2. So we went from 0.5 to 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 to 16 to 32, etc. You can see you can continue zooming out on this until you've zoomed out so far that you have less than a half a screen um, of the audio file displayed in the full screen with the rest of it being blank. So that really is it. That will conclude this training video on how to use the zooming feature as well as why you would use the zooming feature.